Hey, and welcome back. So we're gonna talk about how to use illustrations for your product. Now, illustrations are super fun when they look good. There are tons of resources out there for imagery that could really help your designs have that extra bit of polish. I listed some in the beginning and we can go through how we can use those plugins for our product. Now, the first plugin I mentioned was called Blush. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to grab the plugins over here and we are going to go up to Blush. And there we go, this is Blush. Now, Blush is a really great plugin. It's entirely free to an extent. You do need to sign up if you want larger PNGs. Uh, if you do want SVGs, you need to pay, but it's a good way to get a sense of what you may want before you actually purchase it. It also may give you some inspiration and if you're feeling brave, you can go out and make your own illustrations. So what I wanna do here is let's kind of put together a quick onboarding screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my frame tool. So I'm gonna press F. I'm going to actually select something like the iPhone 11 here. And I'm gonna press Command R to rename it. And we can rename it to onboarding. Great. Let's just create a quick onboarding screen. Let's start with something for like a search. So let's do this quickly. Let's not worry about any grids or any sizing or anything too much. These are just some concepts that we're coming up with for our client habitual. So let's just quickly select our type tool with a T. And here we go. That's a little too big. What we can do is we can scale down. Okay. Search for anything that you want. That could be our little headline. Usually these onboarding screens have uh, like a catchy headline. They'll have an illustration. Then they'll have like some buttons at the bottom, some text explaining. Onboarding screens are really great for getting your users excited about the app before they even get to use it. That's our little onboarding headline. We can use a typeface like Open Sans or Let's go for bold. Uh, let's bring that down just a bit up. Oh, no, 40 is good. We're going to stick with 40 and 115%. And for the opacity, let's just do something like 70, maybe 90. 90 is good. And what we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate that and we're going to bring that size a little down. I want you to kind of play around as I'm doing this. You can play around with whatever plugin you'd like and just come up with some screens. You don't have to use exactly what I'm using. So another plugin that I like to use, I mentioned it before, Content Reel. It's a great way to kind of just fill things up with content. We got Lorem Ipsum and we're just going to put that in right there. So 16, not bold, we'll just do regular. We'll open that up just a bit. We can actually just kind of set it to a defined line height. So I'll set it to 24 pixels. There we go, a little more space. And we'll bring that opacity down so it's a little bit more readable. Okay, cool, this is great. Quickly create a button here. Great. So, oh, we lost it there, and there it is. So we have a button. Let's just quickly choose a color here. I know their brand is a little bit like a yellow. I don't have that yellow right now, but that's totally fine. We can kind of work with what we have. So we have continue and then what we can do is we can have a little bit of text that just says back big distinction between our primary and our secondary button here we don't really want our users to hit that back button but they shouldn't be trapped in our flow okay now that we have that let's close this plugin and let's look for illustration so we're going to bring up blush one more time and let's look for some illustrations that can kind of suit this screen. 
So what do we have here? So we have a bunch of different options. I like, let's see what this one has. Cool, there's a couple different scenes that we can choose from. We have these ones, small talk, proposals, backgrounds, charts, living rooms, windows. I like that one. That kind of suits the brand a bit. We got windows, perfect. We can even customize the plants within there. That's a little redundant, but we can do something like that. Perfect, that's already placed right into our file, which is so convenient. We can also get a person in here as well. Ooh, let's, uh, let's kind of reverse where we just hit Command Z. We're gonna also get a person, there we go. So we're gonna put this dude right here. And now we can actually just customize this person. This person could be standing, they could have jeans, could have pants or shorts. They'd be really happy. This guy, you can't really see his happy face because he's a mustache. Well, that's much better. Say hi, arms up, like he's so happy he can search for anything that he wants. Maybe something that's a little bit more on brand. That looks pretty cool. Or you, you could be even be running or jumping, which is pretty awesome. So there you go. Like we can quickly make an onboarding screen just with something like this. I know they're PNGs and you may not get exactly what you want, but this should inspire you to start searching for something and then you can buy those illustrations or you can even start building them as you see fit. These aren't too hard to build once you kind of have a, an understanding of what you're going for, especially like the backgrounds. Play around with something like this to kind of set a scene. Think about what you want to convey to our users before they even get into the product, get them excited. Now the next plugin I love using is something called Illustrations. Let's bring that plugin up. Here it is, oh, it's kind of cool, right? Got all these different looking dudes, guy in the bikini. It is fairly limited, but at least you get the actual SVG layers with something like this. And you know, these aren't all that bad. If you go into here, you can, open up a bunch of different options here. So we have like doodles are by Pablo Stanley. So he's put this plugin together. So these are the doodles uh, collection. You have peeps, which are kind of cool. You also have humans, which you can select different parts and then work with those parts any which way you see fit. I just grabbed the head here. You can give this person like some green hair or yellow hair. And then you can actually start creating scenes based off of your brand colors. You know, they're faceless and it's kind of limited, but it's pretty interesting what you can do with something like this with just your imagination. Now, the next plugin and the last option that I have for a Figma resource is called Humans. I just showed you Humans, but this is a plugin just dedicated to it. So here we go, humans for Figma. They already have set scenes, which makes it a lot easier. Instead of just picking individual human parts, you can still do that here, but I find that this is much more easier to use because it isn't as like zoomed in. And you have different things that you can use as well, like lamps, different objects, which is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another onboarding screen. So I'm gonna press F, and select another frame over there. I'm gonna select the iPhone screen. Command R for renaming. Let's rename that to onboarding again. And so what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna grab everything over here, Command C. And what that's gonna do is, we're gonna click on this frame and it's gonna paste everything right in there. That's kind of interesting. Let's actually create this frame one more time. We can actually just drag that over. Okay. Now let's rename this to like get results uh, super quickly or super quick. And this will be maybe like the end of our 
flow here. So we'll discover new products. We want to make sure our buttons have great UX copy. We want to get people excited, like I said, about the product. So instead of saying something like submit or something like next, you know, try to have some fun with the way you write that copy. Just give it some extra thought. So something like discover new products, it gives more meaning to this actual action. Okay, so let's use humans for Figma over here. So I'm going to see what I have here. I'm gonna pick this lady. Great, I'm gonna, right there, Command C, click Command C. Let's not worry about the frame, at least right now. We're gonna paste her right into our frame. And over here, we can edit some of the colors. So you can see, I wanna match our brand colors. So like, we can do something like this really quickly. doesn't need to be perfect, especially if we're just kind of building out a concept, but it's a good way to kind of get an understanding of, hey, does this illustration actually suit what I need? Uh, for this, we can do like a nice teal or something. I like, I like teal. Teal can work. Teal like that. Let's copy that hex code because I think there's a darker red that we can use it on. Perfect, let's bring that down. And there we go, we kind of have like a little composition here and we can even build off of this. Let's bring in some background pieces to make this a little bit more interesting and maybe make it actually convey like some sort of quickness. So uh, what do we have here? Let's find some background images. Like we can have something like this. So you can bring this into the frame just to add a little bit more visual interest. So we'll send it to the back. Perfect, we have a clock. So definitely a clock could work. And there you go. I mean, it doesn't take much to actually just start creating a scene. Let's paste that right in. I mean, this may get a little too busy, but we have something really nice and it doesn't necessarily match our brand colors just yet. But I mean, we're well on our way to kind of going through that visual exploration and understanding what's going to work and what isn't going to work. I really like this style here and this style actually, it's fun too. It really depends on the tone of your brand. Like this seems much more fun, much more joyful. This seems a little bit more serious. It really depends what you're going for. Use these as inspiration, uh, just get creative, and you can make some really exciting and interesting scenes. And just like that, we have a couple of onboarding screens that we can work with. So take some time by yourself, go through this process, figure out what illustrations could work for an onboarding screen. Think about what our client would want, what the goal of our product is. Users can get results really quickly, users can get personalized results personalized products, personalized recommendations. So you can play on that and try to find some illustrations that could really suit that and uh, really get our users excited for the next step within that tutorial or even just getting excited to actually use our application.